Once the largest restaurant chain in the country, the last Howard Johnson has officially closed its doors for good. The eatery, known for its orange roofs, had one last holdout location that was in upstate Lake George, but it shut down last month. In the 60s and 70s, there were about a thousand Hojo restaurants across the country. There are still about 300 Hojo hotels still in the business. Jacques Pepin has been cooking for more than 70 years. He was the personal chef to three French prime ministers before he turned down President Kennedy to work at Howard Johnson's. It's Howard Johnson's for a famous grilled and butter Frankfurt in a toasted roll, or a choice steak, charcoal broiled the way you like it, sizzling on the outside, tender and juicy on the inside. Howard Johnson's is famous for fried clams, tender, sweet, deeply crusted and golden brown, crispy, crunchy, sweet as a nut, and ice cream from the wonderful world of 28 flavors, made with fresh cream, fine ingredients, and ice cream soda, cool, luscious, at the landmark for hungry Americans. Howard Johnson's. Next stop. In 1959, he moved to the U.S., where he worked for Howard Johnson's, developing recipes in their New York City test kitchen. It was through his friendship with Julia Child that he became a household name here. <laughs> Co-hosting a PBS show while introducing America to a whole new array of culinary delights. And even this one, see which was the big hand. The and big if I, if hand? I, yes. You, you said hand. And this is Boston, no. but I live in Connecticut. The accent is different. <laughs> I met Julia in 1960 uh, when I first came. She came to, uh, to Helen McCauley there, and I met her, and we became friends, and we spoke a bit the same language. She came, she was in Paris in 1949. I was in apprenticeship, and in 1949, she... She went to Paris and worked at the Cordon Bleu, then I worked in Paris in the 50s. In a sense, we spoke the same language, the cooking of the time. She knew uh, the cooking of the time uh, as I was cooking in the Plaza Athene, Maxime Fouquet, the place I worked in Paris. So she knew the same, uh, the same uh, chef and the same... So when we started cooking together, we, in a sense, spoke the same language. And... Uh, so it was fun to cooking together and we wanted to explain the same thing i was probably too serious for her she had done television she told me you have to lighten up you know this is television people you have, have fun and uh, which was good for me to learn that from her on the other side i wanted to show the technique that we did too and she knew that i knew how to do that so she said okay make sure you know but at the beginning of the show uh, she said, okay, what are we going to do? I said, I don't know. She said, okay, write down an idea that you would like to do, and I'll do the same. So I wrote a hundred idea thing, recipe, and she did the same thing. I think four of mine made it out of a hundred. <laughs> it ended up being... And Is there anything better than good food, good wine, and a game of petanque? Maybe sex? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> There you go.